Hi, this is Beata from Splitco Stampers. In this video I'll show you how to create a scallop square or rectangle with your scallop edge punch. All you need is a scallop edge punch, cardstock and a paper cutter. To start out with, just punch any of the sides of your cardstock all the way through. This scallop edge punch is from Stampin' Up! but you can use other scallop edge punches as well. Now once you're done with your paper punch, you will have to cut, well mine is already done, but it just worked out that way. But um, if your cardstock doesn't end with a scallop, just put it in your paper cutter and cut between two scallops to prepare it for the next drill. Then you line up the half scallop on your punch with the, or the quarter scallop on your punch with the half scallop on the edge and line it up so you will make a three quarter circle there that will be your corner and that just takes a little bit of practice I hope it looks good now and just punch it through and this I'll cut off with the little scissor and then punch that side all the way through Repeat it on the other side. And then the same here. To finish it off, you'll have to cut between um, each of the scallops to, fin to, to create your last edge. Like that. And there you have a popsicle stick. And um, punch that edge as well. And then your scallop edge, your scallop rectangle is done. You can cut it down. You can decide how many scallops you want on each side while you're doing it. And create different sizes that way. And I'm not really that perfect on getting perfect borders yet. It's just uh, corners yet. It's just, like I said, a little bit of practice. And since I have nestabilities, that's what I usually do. But here you go. Just trim those corners a little bit to make them even. Or get the extra paper off and your scallop rectangle is done. I hope you have fun and try this out. See you next time.